In this lecture, we are going to create a DHCP server by installing the DHCP server role on our ITF DC01 server. If you're not already logged into the domain controller that we created, go ahead and do so now. To install DHCP on your server, open Server Manager and select Manage, Add Roles and Features. Continue through the prompts until you get to the Server Roles tab. Check the DHCP server checkbox. You will be prompted to add the features that are required by the DHCP server role. Click the Add Features button to continue. Click Next until you get to the confirmation window and click Install. The installation will begin and we just need to wait for it to finish. Once the installation completes, Click the Complete DHCP Configuration text, or if you've already closed the installation window, click the Notifications button at the top of the screen and select the notification for DHCP. The DHCP Post Install Configuration Wizard will now appear. The first window tells us that we will need to create the DHCP Administrators and DHCP User Security Groups and authorize the DHCP server. The next screen we will be presented with is the authorization screen. We need to specify a domain user account that has domain administrative permissions. By default, it specifies the account administrator. We know that this administrator account is a domain account because it is prefixed by our domain NetBIOS name, ITFLEE, and a backslash. This account is suitable for the task required, so click on commit to continue. Next you will be brought to the summary page where you can see the two tasks that are being completed. The tasks are now completed so we can close out of the DHCP windows. Now you will notice on the left side of our screen we have a DHCP tab. We can click on this tab and view information related to DHCP such as events, services, and more. To open the DHCP management console, click on Tools, DHCP within Server Manager. The DHCP Management Console will appear and we can see our server is listed along with its IP version 4 and IP version 6 settings. In this course, we will be dealing with the IP version 4 because it's by far the most commonly used protocol. Right now, our DHCP server is not fully functioning because we need to define a scope for it to use. We will do that in the following lectures. Great job getting the DHCP server role installed and I will see you in the next lecture.